I'm early, so I hate being late. I like to pad my time, so I'm late. I'd rather be early waiting on someone or something or waiting for my appointment than rushing and being late. That gives me anxiety. Um, I wanted to come on here because I was thinking about something. I was like, Friday. Friday is like really that girl, right? Like, no matter whether you work or not, it's like, oh, yeah, it's Friday. Even if you're staying at home, mom, you're like, oh, it's Friday. Kids ain't got school tomorrow. Whatever, I ain't got to deal with that. Because when the kids in school, you're in school too. Um, but I used to make cake. Um, from 2010 to 2017, I had a specialty cake business. So I made all kinds of cakes, sculpted cakes, 3D cakes, tiered, whatever, right? Fridays were like, Friday, the weekends, oh, those were my work days. Technically, I started working on Tuesday, depending on what the cake was. Like, I might have to sculpt something that needs drawing time, or I would have to shop. So, Monday was my only day off. Um, so, yeah, my weekends were, it wasn't, yay, it's Friday. It was, oh, gotta get these cakes done. Now, I stopped making cake for several reasons. Really, two main reasons. One, I got pregnant with my son, and I had to stop. Like, I was a delivery person, too. Because no one's delivering the cake but me. I got to make sure it's getting to where it needs to be safely. So I'm not great at delegating. I kind of take everything on myself, which is not good. So anyway, by the time I was seven months, I think I made my last couple of cakes. And then my son was born and I did not want to miss out any time with him. And besides, he was just a lot. Like, I had to take care of him. There was no way I could make cake and take care of my son. And then I would keep getting asked, well... When you when you making cake again, like I would get texts, I would get emails. People were beasting, and I considered going back, not for me, but for other people. Like that's the epitome of a people pleaser, and it just wasn't healthy for me, right? So by the time my son was born, I made his first birthday cake. I was like, you know what? I'm not going back to this. I'm just not. This is not even. This is not even like it. It's 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 a lot to make cake with kids especially a toddler right i'm not doing this why am i doing it i'm not doing it because i love it because i don't love it i did it because i know how to do it in the beginning i enjoyed it and then you know when you have a when you know how to do something you do it well and then you make it a business sometimes it's not fun anymore so that became that um but i made great money doing it so that was a good motivator and um but i wanted to spend time with my son i want to raise him and i just want to be there for him and not have to worry about making cake because it was a uh, mental and physical stress running that business i was everything i was the baker the cake designer the accountant the customer service the delivery person i was everything in that business and um i used to have a partner um she had my goddaughter no no i'm sorry she had my godson and then i was kind of it uh so, which you know, we didn't we lived far apart from one another, so it wasn't it wasn't convenient for her at all, at all to continue with this business. So yeah, I just wound up doing everything for the business, and um, we actually was on Cupcake Wars. That's another story. So yeah, so I had to stop. I stopped when I was pregnant. I had my son. The only reason why I considered going back was for other people. I had to cut that out. Like you know what, Tony, you can't you can't keep pleasing other people and then not taking care of yourself so and that's another reason why i stopped making cake i was so not well like i wasn't taking care of myself i was barely eating i was working 24 hours some days like 24 hours straight drinking coffee nibbling on stuff plus i still had to cook for the kids and my husband and it was just a lot it was a lot he thank god for him being as supportive as he was, he would clean up after me, making cake. Oh my goodness. As neat as you go, as neat as you can be, you will be, but it's just no, it's no, it's no running away from that mess because especially when you're making multiple cakes or you're working on intricate cake design and it's just a lot. And he would help me out so much. I mean, it was a tremendous help that he when i would deliver the cake by the time i got home the kitchen was clean the kitchen and dining room because i had to spread it out so he helped me a lot um but again i just wasn't sleeping i wasn't eating right i wasn't doing anything but making cake 
and I was anxious all the time because I'm a perfectionist. I'm very meticulous about my stuff and I want to make sure, and I would deliver cakes and like wait for that text, like just to let me know my clients would be like they would always send me a text or an email to tell me how the cake was and i would just sit there and like move it because it had to be it had to be it right um i enjoy pleasing others and the satisfaction of making people happy with those cakes for their special moments was great like i loved it but i just i wasn't taking myself so yeah I say all that to say this. I'm going to get to the point. The point is sometimes you have to change the job that you're doing so that you're well mentally and physically. It's not easy. I get that. Either you have to figure out how to take care of yourself while you're working that job or you need to figure out a way to work towards getting another job where you're able to take care of yourself because that is the most important. We already know this job does not care about you no matter what. Even if it's your own business, you have to figure it out. Okay? All right, it's time for my appointment. Let me go. Okay.